Today I want to tell you guys about a math curriculum we have been using and it is called Your Business Math Series. This is a Simply Charlotte Mason and it, the one that we got is the Pet Store Student Kit. You can choose between Pet Store, Bookstore, and a Sports Store and we are on it combined it does it by months but not actual calendar months but it, instead of doing like chapters it divides your pet store up by months and my daughter is currently working on February so what it will have you do is in the first in the beginning it has you um, make a name for your store and a logo and just some fun stuff like that and then it'll go through and do some business things and it kind of redoes the same things every month so you learn the um, process and basically what you do is you at the beginning of the month you fill orders so she has two orders for her pet store and oh also before she started she had to like she had a starting sum and she had to order her inventory for her store and hope that she would have enough to fill out her orders and then you have like um, chance cards that they'll go through sometimes and it'll say like you either made extra money doing this or that or um, something broke and you had to pay extra money and stuff that kind of happens in real businesses so it's kind of cool and so she's doing the fill your order part right now where she fills out this order form <laughs> and can I show this real quick, Lila? Mm -hmm. Okay, so she's doing this one. I went ahead and made copies of everything just so she could have it in a notebook. So the order form has it where you write the customer's name, and then it has a list of your inventory, and you write down the quantity in the column, and then you have to, of course, multiply however many um, they bought by the price that it cost them. She also figured out before this, um, what her profit was on each item. So she figured out what it cost her to buy it and then what she's selling it for. And then, um, so after she does the order forms, she does, she adjusts her inventory amounts. Then they have, a, she does an additional in-store sales card that I give her and a chance card. And then she has to pay her bills. So then she'll have this where it shows like, what bills she has each month, like her electric and how much it is and her water and her gas and her rent and her telephone and her trash collection. And then it has some sample checks just to get, help them learn how to write out checks. So she'll write a check for the different bills that she has to pay. And then she does, she has to pay her sales tax. So when she does the order form, she also has to calculate how much sales tax the customer owes. And then at the end of the month, she has to say how much sales tax she collected and she has to pay that in to, for her sales tax. Then she does her advertising. So she selected an amount in January that she wanted to spend for advertising. And it tells her like, if you spend $50 in advertising, you get an extra 10% on sales next month. So. Here she has her advertising and she gets to add in her 10% and it shows how to do percentages. And then she does, um, sorry, I'm just looking. Then she has to order her inventory for next month. So if she sold a lot of things and she wants to order more inventory or not. So she has an inventory form that she fills out. And again, here she will be doing multiplication because she's doing quantity times the price. And then down here she will figure out the total so that's more addition and um, oh when she was figuring out the prices for everything it would tell her how much it how much it, she caught she had to pay for it like if a dog cost her $50 then it would say her markup is a hundred percent on the dog and she would have to figure out that that means she was supposed to charge $100 for her customer and some of the stuff had a hundred percent markup that she had to charge and some of the stuff had 150 percent markup so she learned how to do that and then at the end of the month you'll do your ledger entries so this is almost like this is good for learning how to do ledgers and it even would help with like balancing checkbooks and stuff like that so she has to put all her money in all her credit and then all her money out her debits and this is what the ledger form looks like and then at the end of each month, she fills out a profit and loss sheet. So she will write, um, you know, how much money she made, if it was a profit, if it was a loss, what, what did she, how did she do for that month? And then it just goes on to the next month. So, and you kind of do the same things each month, which is good because it gives them extra practice. Um, but you're doing something different every day, so it doesn't get too boring. Okay, Lila, what do you think about it? 
it's fun. I love pets, so I choose the pet store one, and I think it's a lot of fun learning how to run your own business. Cool. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. If you have any questions, let us know.